I spent a lot of time making this thing, and it's not even that good. But I mean, it functions. But a lot of um, a lot of head scratching stuff went into this because there was no guides online or anything. I had to work everything out by myself, and uh, with the help of a friend from the Rust community Discord. There's also quite a bit of frustration. Oh, come on, work for me. Oh, whatever. I made mistakes. Could you power in all the other counters that we should remove these? Oh no. I didn't even understand what I was doing. My own system, I didn't know what I'd built. My god, why aren't these counters working? Hopefully next wipe I'll be able to do something a little bit bigger. But um, enjoy this for now. This could be a proof of concept. I try my best to explain what's happening in each place. Not very good at it. I know I said I'd start scripting videos, but couldn't be bothered really. I had to get this video made before wipe. So yeah, enjoy. This is my seven segment display in Rust using electronics. Now it basically does the same job as a standard counter except it's really big. Uh, I'm going to give a quick demo and then I'm going to do a little rundown of how it works. And I've also got a few demos over here that I will show you uh, for problems that I encountered during this. So we can start by adding and it goes up in uh, normal normal numbers and uh, that's kind of the that's kind of all its features but it took a long time to make and when we get to 10 it resets or we can if we go up to 2 we can decrement or we can clear and go back to 0 now it's kind of pointless and I didn't have long to make it because I started making it about five days before wipe. Now next wipe I'm going to try and work on something else. I'm going to try and make it into a calculator. Now uh, I think that would be quite cool. And I'll probably use the same logic here. Or I might even make like a number keyboard or whatever. It's it's still in the future. But uh, let's let's just go through how this all works. So... First, I'll just label what all these splitters are. So you can see we've got power. These are our power inputs, uh, which is powered by a lot of generators. Most of these aren't being used, but they've just been there the whole time. Um, <clears throat> this switch controls our decrease function. This controls the clearing, and this is the button, the increment button, back when these two weren't going to be a feature. Now... Before that all makes sense, I will need to explain to you this. So, when we hit the increment button, like so, you'll see, you might have just caught a glimpse of it there, there was all these timers flicked back. Now, this is what I'm going to show you on this demo over here, but how the timer works is each of these uh, displays is set to a pass-through threshold of 1. So, when this gets to 1, what happens is it passes through and it comes up this wire, goes through here, it gets split off and then it blocks. And then on the first one, it splits off into two. One of them blocks this power and the power here goes up to here, which blocks the zero from displaying. Now, and then the other one splits over here, goes into a blocker and then passes through to the one where it's split again and it's sent into uh, this mass of wires and OR gates. Now it might be a little bit hard to grasp but when the second number comes around it splits and it blocks the first one from displaying so that it goes one 
and then 2. Now each number, it counts up, it adds 1 to everything at the same time, like so. So if this one is 1, it's going to be outputting, which is also number 4, which is shown by this one here. And it's also the 4th from the right, so it displays a 4. Now the decrement function is pretty simple, because if you de decrement them all at once, you just instantly go down one. So look, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And now it's 0, 1, 2, 3. And we've gone back to 3. And then the clear is just another a load of splitters that maps to this button. Clear there. And also, it can also be cleared if you go on to 10. So if... Uh, what's this one? If this goes to... I don't know. If the timer gets flicked again whilst this is outputting... So if this is on 1, it's display 9 on here. And it will be going into this AND gate. And if the increment button is pressed again, the AND gate will output. And it will go into this OR gate, which will decide if it will uh, clear. Or you can manually, manually clear. <sighs> I'm not great at explaining this. But uh, yes, I'm, I'm doing my best. So... I notice down here there's a lot of timers and blockers. Now, <clears throat> that is because if we look over here, a standard binary system, if we hit this momentary switch, it counts up to one. So that is binary one. That's binary uh, two. And that's binary three. Now, the pass through thresholds are two on these. Now, that isn't good because that means that two clicks from there would only mean one on here if we wanted to output it. So what I did was I made uh, this system. Or if I just show you here, if we have one on each of these, when we hit it, this one gets ignored because it goes one and then it goes straight into the next one and it just counts up like that. Now, what I did here was I set a, uh, a one second timer duration which blocks the input to these AND gates here. So the basic function is if if you have, it's similar to that. If this one is out, if the one previously is outputting, then it will go into the AND gate. And if there's a timer, and if there's a switch pull, it will AND it together, output a one, and then add to this one and clear. No, it doesn't clear anymore, sorry. And it just simply adds to that one and that one. Now, the problem with that is that without this timing unit that blocks the pass-through, uh, you can't... It, it just counts up because the momentary switch, the momentary, isn't is like too long, and it still thinks that it's outputting and, so it just does the exact same as this system over here. But whereas when we do it now, it will block the input so we can count... So if you see, the pass-through is 1, pass-through is 1, it will count to 1, and it will go to 1, 0, and go to 1, 1, just like it did uh, when these were both at 2. A little complicated to explain, I know. I don't really know how some of it works myself, and also I'm not um, a great talker. Oh, yeah, those teddy bears are just because I woke up with like 100 of them for some reason and just spread them across there um so yeah these these get split basically it goes down here then they block the pass through so two numbers don't try and generate at once and this is where we have the magic so this is our display and these there's a lot of or gates get put together to make different paths so that means that uh, let's what's the least one is it the four down here? Yeah, it is. So we've got four inputs to the OR gate. So if uh, you can have four different types, so there's only four numbers that use that line, this line of lights. So if that one or that one or that one or that one, say, is on, then it will output and it will go to the lights. So that's why we have a lot of uh, OR gates. So they just act as inputs that are... Or gates basically, yeah. 
Uh, so one, as you can see, it only needs two outputs because all we need is, let me just fly over here. All it needs is this one and this one. So if we come around here and uh, we can see one here, the two outputs, they go along here and one goes up here, which you can see is the left one because the left light is up and then it climbs up the all ladder and then there's another one that goes into there. It's on the left one, climbs up the all ladder and then it powers the lights. Now, this, this took a while. This took a long time of head scratching boringness most of the time and um i admit i didn't i didn't play it for too long this actually took a lot less time than i thought it was going to take but it turned out it turned out relatively good and hopefully next wipe which is on the 7th thursday the 7th of february uh hopefully i'll be able to make something bigger and better next time but also we've got new components so i'm uh my make a video on staging branch about the new components haven't got around to installing staging branch until very recently so the components may already be out so maybe next wipe i'll do something about the new components but this is um this is my big project for this wipe next wipe hopefully we'll have some more i was thinking maybe a a radio transmitting station thanks to the new radio frequency transmitters and receivers so uh yeah, let's let's see what the future brings. Right, uh thanks for watching.